This show is a member of the Sorgatron Media Podcast Network. Find out more at sorgatronmedia.com. Parental discretion is advised. This show is brought to you by Slice on Broadway. Supporting Pittsburgh podcasting with the perfect pepperoni pizza. SliceOnBroadway.com. IndieWrestling.us. Check out IWC, RWA, and more. And listeners like you, support this show at Patreon.com slash Wrestling Just wait. Just wait. Just wait. Just wait. Just wait. Just wait. Hey guys, it is the Wrestling Mayhem Show, 708 Tuesdays. We've been talking about professionalized wrestling. I'm Mike Sorg at Sorgatron on the Twitter live here in the Sorgatron Media Studios, all alone once again, at least physically, but in our hearts, we're with all of you in Mayhem Universe, when in the chat room live on Facebook Live and multiple other places. We got a whole crew with us tonight. First of all, from Beacon, New York, safe in the Mad Mike bunker is Mad Mike. Super califragilistic Carol killed her husband, <laughs> fed him to the tigers, and now he is mostly bone stuff. <laughs> yeah, tiger stomachs are acidic, Mike. There would be no evidence. I said mostly bone stuff. Hashtag spoiler <laughs> alert. Uh, <laughs> but also, just read Twitter. And you're you're gonna get the whole story, Mike. How you doing? I sore guy. It's been it's been a week, and it's only Tuesday. Well, Mike, I I, I we we hopefully have a, a a banger of a show. I'm gonna get punched in the face by uh, Shirley Doe now, uh, because we have <laughs> returns, just all returns to the show. Yeah, first I, of all, I know I'm appreciating this. First of all, back on the show, Ronnie Starks. I am the terror that flaps in the night. <laughs> I am the essential worker that hates your fucking guts. I am Ronnie Starks. Ronnie, good to have you back. Good to be back, brother. Star of Klein and Starks Excellent Toy Adventure. Yeah, how's that going? <laughs> <laughs> it's out there. It's out there for the world. So uh, that, That's good. We'll Whether anybody we... listening to it is... Uh... <laughs> Uh, way to put over your shit, man! You got Tyler, gonna watch my shit. Tyler Klein's out there sharing, sharing a like. If you want to see the sexiest uh, 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 toy discussion and Ronnie Starks, please watch this video. Oh, that's not. Oh, wait, he called himself sexy. Yes. Well, that son of a bitch. It just overall, overall. I mean, I did, yeah, I did some polishing to the beginning of it too. Oh, you had to clean up my uh, shenanigans. So well, it's there's that too. There's that too. Um, <laughs> also with us back on the show is Wheels, the sound guy over at the Renegade Wrestling Alliance. Sorg, I knew I'd come. You knew you'd come. I'm forgetting to switch to you. There you go. There it I is. Wheels leading the way. Hi, Mike. Hi, Ronnie. <laughs> Hello. Hi, Sorg. I'm back. He's back. He's got a nice collection. He's showing off the gold in the background. I got the gold, <laughs> not the bubbly. And then also back with us, he is one of the very first people we interviewed on the Wrestling Mayhem show. The first video interview we did back uh, back in the good old days of uh, the sexual harassment days. But he's one cool cat, Justin Idol, with us on the line. With <laughs> he's got two cats now. <laughs> oh, look at the kitty. Oh, meow, bitches. <laughs> <laughs> you you really you, I mean you you've really kind of adopted this whole I mean every, everything everything you watch is everybody skyping in and showing off their pets at this point and you're you're just I love my pets. <laughs> yeah. You keep clicking on Ronnie. That's not me. <laughs> like, <laughs> I have I have a penguin. Does that count for anything? <laughs> no, it's not alive, Ronnie. God damn it. <laughs> awesome. Hey, thanks for thanks for joining us. You're, you're still going. Of course, we were hoping to talk about uh, uh, leading into RWA Spring Fling this weekend. Of course, not happening. But uh, we're going to catch yeah. up with you with uh, uh, everything else that's going on. Uh, that sounds good. I'm not wearing any pants. Okay. <laughs> <laughs> oh, oh, you mean All right. Who is? Hey, hey, the biggest thing, the biggest change is we got these curtains here. You have no idea if I'm wearing pants because they can't see me from the taco stand anymore. All so, right. There you go. Hey. This is liberating. Anyways, Talk about social distancing. <laughs> Holy shit. Hey. <laughs> um, but anyways, this is the Wrestling Mayhem Show. Check out everything at WrestlingMayhemShow.com where you can find links. And you can subscribe on your iTunes. Not iTunes. 
Apple Podcasts, sorry, Alex Cars, uh, your Google Podcasts, your Stitcher, Spreaker, all the places. And please make sure you do uh, subscribe, rate, review, share the show if you like what's going on here uh, with your friends on the social medias. Also, you can drop us a line at that email address. Good times. Good times at wrestlingmayhemshow.com. It's been fixed again, guys. <laughs> hey, we 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 let go of some services with GoDaddy. One of them was an email address. Sorry about that if you emailed us in the last couple of weeks, but it should be working right now. Um, <laughs> but also, I don't think you can email Mad Mike is a douche at wrestlingmayhemshow.com anymore, and it goes through. I'm trying to restore that, but right now you can email us at good times at wrestlingmayhemshow.com. 412 206 WMS0. Tweet us at mayhem show and follow the wrestling mayhem show on the facebook page and group a lot of great discussion happening throughout the week like what does gene snitsky look like now oh man uh that's not good should i google that shit uh just go over to the wrestling what i saw that that is um disturbing yeah <laughs> it was someone like it's like he he fusioned with mike knox somebody said in the reddit so michael keanu knoxell that's it right. it. It's the like mega evolution enough? of Mike Knox. It is. It, it, it kind of is. But It's the mega evolved version of Mike Knox. Um, you can also join us live here every Tuesday at 9 p.m. Eastern Time on the Facebook page and uh, in other streaming places as well that I don't remember if I hit the button on. So we're going to double check that while I'm multitasking. Um, also, you can, um, if you catch the show later, you can uh, hashtag WMS708 to continue the conversation. Thank you to our Patreon supporters. We had a, t- a two and a half hour Patreon in the bank last week. Mm-hmm. Holy crap. It's because so many of you have contributed to it, and uh, Matt Collins made sure everybody uh, had as much um, benefit to that as possible. Holy crap. Mythical feature, uh, figures. Uh, thank you to our friends at the fan of the show level. Bo Diggity! Woo! Woo! Ed Burke, Bobby FG, Town Team Hammerfist. Our friends uh, Bradley Brothers, Dave Potter, Kyle Turner, Daniel Towery, and Tina Keys. At the Pizza Club level, Doc Remini and the Reveling, WrestlingRevolution.com that have been doing an amazing job. Uh, uh, Garza has been doing an amazing job with the graphics for Mayhem Mania. And you should see him when we've submitted some of those batches. Yes. <laughs> the responses. He's trying to look like uh, Joe Exotic. Yeah, yeah, yeah. That's basically where he's at. Where he's at at this point. Yeah. Uh, also, our friends at the manager level, OccupyProWrestling.com, Farnsworth Investments, and Mad Mike with his uh, seasonal uh, high contribution. I was gonna say last day for it, Sorg. I better make it count. Last day. There you go. And of course, you guys support the show too at patreoncom slash show. We really appreciate, it, especially with a lot of stuff going on. We know a lot of people are in shifting circumstances, and if you're still contributing to the show, it's very, very appreciated. Um, so let's get into it. Like I said, before we get into um, WrestleMania, yeah, uh, uh, Justin Idol, you are not up with what's going on generally, correct? Did I lose him again? Is he uh, here? He's frozen in time. He's frozen! No! This was going to be such a good segment. <laughs> no! <laughs> frozen in time! No! Maybe he'll be back. He's been having Wi-Fi problems. He okay. has been deleted. Okay, we're going to start talking <laughs> about WrestleMania. You know what happens, or oh. you know what the problem is? What? Everybody's home, and the internet's overloaded. Yes. Well... Mm-hmm. Especially Pornhub in, must be really busy. Especially, in, yeah, <laughs> there's, yes, we talked a lot about Pornhub on the awesome cast. Um, I still don't, <laughs> know, I just still don't know where Pornhub got ten thousand face masks to send to emergency responders. Or you know where? Uh, but like, yeah, but ten. Oh, they must have. Is the logo on the masks? Uh, well, I mean, where do I? They get have, they have servers. I'm sure they need them for server rooms and stuff like that. Yeah, yeah, you know. Um. Anyways, so we'll we'll see if our uh, guest uh, comes back on here. At least he got this kick in for the intro and, and plug a little bit. Uh. But uh. uh <laughs> so let's go down the card here. Um. Unfortunately, I can't throw up the graphics, but uh, thank you for uh dropping those to me, uh, mainstream Matt, uh, uh, earlier. But uh, there's 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 betting happening. Right. Okay. Oh wait, wait, is he back? Is he back? Yeah. Sorry uh, about that. Okay, he is back. Yes. Yeah. The gimmick lives. 
Okay, so we want to. So, so Justin Idol, you are not up on entirely what's going on with WWE right now and storylines and such, right? Right. Okay. So, okay. so we're going to play right. since we just uh, yeah. uh, finished a very epic session of Mayhem Mania. Uh, we're going to play a quick game with you before we get into the card: Mayhem Mania or WrestleMania. Uh, Mike is going to read is, is going to uh, tell you a match. You have to tell us: Is this really on the card for WrestleMania this weekend, or is this a match that us on the Wrestling Mayhem show and the fans and guests over the last two months came up with ourselves? Well, what I'm going to do, Stork, okay. yes, is I'm gonna, I'm going to say two matches. Okay, I'm going to say one match that's on WrestleMania and one match that's on Mayhem Mania. That works too. Okay, all right, you ready, Justin? Oh yeah, let's do it. Okay. Uh, Sasha Banks versus Shayna Baszler and Charlotte Flair versus Rhea Ripley. Banks <laughs> is WrestleMania. Banks is WrestleMania. Banks is, Wrestle- is WrestleMania. <laughs> that is a uh, Mania match. <laughs> <laughs> kidding. I'd rather see that match. <laughs> <Whoa>! <laughs> See, this is also going to be a good experiment to see if we're booking better than um, than WrestleMania, <laughs> right? Um, all right, that's, uh, score, that's score one for Mayhem Mania. <laughs> yeah. yeah. All right. All right. Next match: Pete Dunne versus Akira Tozawa, and Alistair Black versus Bobby Lashley. Alistair Black and Bobby Lashley has WWE written all over it with You're Lashley. Correct. Okay, because mm-hmm. it's a Lashley, bitch. <laughs> <laughs> I mean, I don't think Alistair Black's, he's a great, I mean, uh, Pete Dunn. I would love to see Pete Dunn on, on Mania. Uh, Pete Dunn's um, good. He's, he is really good. I remember he was, when he was on IWC many, 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 many years ago. Yep. He was actually, it wasn't even booked. He was just a fill-in. He was just there traveling with somebody. And um, yeah, yeah, and he got booked. It, it was wild. And I didn't, no one knew who he is. And then I remember when he, didn't he compete on the Cruiserweight? Did he come? No, no, it was UK. Uh, UK, UK tournament. Okay, UK tournament. Yeah. But then I remember going, oh, that's a guy from IWC. What, what's his name? You know? <laughs> <laughs> but uh, yeah, yeah, that, that one was easy. Lashley, yeah, the Fed loves him. <laughs> All right. Uh, this one may be a little bit trickier. Um, the Street Profits versus Angel Garza and Austin Theory, or the Iconics versus Tony Storm and Piper Niven. I don't. I know the iconics are women, right? Yes, uh, Billy, okay. Billy, Billy Kay and Peyton Royce. Well, who are they wrestling? The iconics, uh, Tony Storm and Piper Niven from NXT UK. That one's got to be Mania. I mean, uh, Mayhem, Mayhem, Mania. You are correct. All right. <laughs> that's, correct. A, that's also again. I thought I knew who the iconics were. I know the other two are, but and then I was thinking that would probably actually be a good match. Also, well, I don't know. They'd probably be pretty equal, I think. You know, I don't think one way, one sways one way or the other. I think those would be pretty equal. Okay. I like that. Um, all right. Next. Edge versus Randy Orton in a last man standing match. Or Tommaso Ciampa versus Killer Cross in a knockout or submission only match. That's Mayhem Mania. The yes. second one. Yeah. <laughs> That's it. Uh, Orton and, uh, what's that? That'd be worth watching, though. Holy hell! Yeah, absolutely. <laughs> but yeah, that's Orton Edge. Yeah, that's I, that's one match I didn't know about. Actually, I won't lie. Okay, know about the big three, you know. <laughs> okay, all right. Well, I I have one more. All right. Uh, hold on, where, oh, by the way, the uh, the Pete Dunne versus Akira Tozawa Mayhem Mania match. It's an elephant graveyard match. Elephant graveyard. <laughs> an elephant graveyard match. Sweet Jesus, that would uh, be that's like a death match. Also, also <laughs> not determined. Elephant graveyard, as in a graveyard of elephants, or isn't it? What wasn't there? There another term uh, for it, 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 it's a lion. It's a Lion King reference. Oh, it's, it's a Lion a King reference. Oh, that's right. So, the boneyard is is an airplane graveyard as well. Yes. Okay. Yes. So, are they yeah. going to play the Lion King music from the boneyard or the elephant graveyard while the match is going on? Yes, absolutely. Okay then, yeah. I'm yeah, of course. Okay. All right, all right. <laughs> the last one. Are you ready? All right. I am ready. The Undertaker versus AJ Styles mm-hmm. in a Boneyard match. Okay. Or John Cena versus The Fiend in a Firefly Funhouse match. John Cena and The Fiend is WWE. 
They are both WWE. Uh, are they really? <laughs> yes. <Yep. laughs> so, are, are there any matches going on in the ring this year? I mean, <laughs> I mean so wait, what's the fun? Because the Funhouse match is, or no, that's in the ring. The Funhouse match is in the ring, isn't it? Oh, no, I don't think that's going to be in the ring at all. No. I, but didn't he have be, a Funhouse be match be before? Fantasy. Or didn't um, he, like, he did the House of Horrors match, which was House in like uh, that was in like a spooky location with a ghost tractor and shit. Okay, yeah, I thought it was in the ring. I must be thinking of something else because I know the um the AJ the and Undertaker clock match. Wars, the Clock Wars House of Fun match that Raven used. To yeah, see. that's cool. probably yeah, yeah. Oh wow, yeah, that's so that's one. That's two matches that are not going to be in the ring, mm -mm. which yeah. makes sense because there's no fans. So and you know, the Edge versus Randy Orton probably not going to be in the ring that long either. Uh, that's true. Yeah. What kind of what are they having a no DQ match? You said last man standing. Last man standing. So yeah, they'll definitely leave the ring. They'll probably go into the fan into the crowd. Into the fans. Into the fans. They will go into the fans. Now what into if the they fans. paper the fans like they just put literally cardboard fans? The I've crowd. been waiting for them to do that. I'm not even kidding. They have so, I, many, I, oh. they have so many like um, cardboard standees. Mm -hmm. They could do it. Going the audience. They really should. It would be hilarious. And then you have, like, whoever they're going to feud with next sitting there like this, like, and then we come past them, and he's just like, ah! You know, he just jumps I mean, out at them, you know? I, I think what they should be doing, they have a watch-along for every pay-per-view. The watch-along yeah. should be live. Like, in the yeah. arena. Mm-hmm. Mm -hmm. Like, because mm -hmm. they never have that many people in it to begin with. It's usually only about eight people. Mm -hmm. Just just sit them there, have them scream out shit during the match. Wasn't yeah, there, because they they react during the watch alongs like they're like they're just watching it because they don't know what's going to happen. Did I read an article mm -hmm. where that was suggesting this might have been a rumor article where they were suggesting that they're going to have celebrities watch WrestleMania film reactions and they were going to cut the reactions into WrestleMania as crowd reactions. <laughs> I, I, is that a fever dream I had or was that somewhere on the internet? I, I can I, see I, it. I could see it. I haven't heard of that though. Mm -hmm. Yeah. I mean, there's got to be, I don't know, they got to pump some kind of sound in there. It may not be audience noises, but you think something. Well, you know? from that, I mean, this is a good time to mention, and I want to run down the rest of the card here at some point. I know there's like 16 matches. Uh, it, it, but uh, uh, Bradley's been uh, posed this question last week uh, for us to bring up on the show, and I want to make sure you get in here. So, so with these empty arena matches, we, we've seen these for several weeks now. We've seen what AEW does versus what uh, uh, WWE is done doing. Um, I think uh, NWA just posted an empty arena match tonight. Uh, yeah. So, like, so, but that more in the, I think, standard empty arena match, uh, uh, everything goes kind of thing. Um, like, do you guys think there should be, like, background music to this? Like, orchestral or modern or something like that? Would that help? Or, you know, because right now it's just kind of, we're filling it with commentary and extra people and Oscar yelling. That was a good match, by the way, on Monday. What's, it, what's that? Oscar and um, Caden was a good match on Monday, by the way. Oh, absolutely. Absolutely. Yeah. Right. Um, yeah, I don't, I know. I mean, I think at this point, the crowd knows it's empty. You know, it's, I kind of, not a, I don't know if it's a slap, it wouldn't be considered a slap in the face. Like if you did like some kind of background music, but it, I think it would be kind of corny because they would, everyone would know. You're just trying to fill up space, you know, but I don't think it would make it better or worse, mm -hmm. you know? So I just, I, you know, I, it probably cost more funds to do it. I know it's WWE and they could afford it, but yeah, I don't think that would, I don't think it would change what people think or what they're feeling when they're watching the episode of the show. What I want is a live jazz band that reacts to what's oh happening. My God. In the I've seen, um, no, I've seen this before. The, the, the or, fabled circus wrestling I saw in Detroit uh, several years ago did this live commentary and, uh, and, and a jazz band playing the corner during the matches. Let's just do that. <laughs> Let's just do that. It was, the, Wait, they, um, why don't we just get the band from Lucha Underground? Please, please. But yeah, it, yeah, it's as if the Lucha Underground band was basically just playing during all the matches. What was the movie um, Body Slam? Remember that movie? Yeah, and they had a band playing every time they like hit a clothesline, they'd like they cut a rift, like a guitar rift or something. You know, I'd be um, okay if they just played the score from Ready to Rumble. Can we just watch Body Slam on Saturday night? Heck yes! I'm not against that, it. God, that movie that movie is so good. I thought for. Uh, like, who was uh, Piper's partner? Like, who was he in the wrestling world? Was he? He had to be somebody, right? 
I mean, I never, I never know because I was like before I even started wrestling. But who was he? Does anyone know, uh, or who he became at least? Or I'm trying, uh, I'm trying, I'm doing, I'm trying to do a quick look, a look up on the side here. But uh, yeah. no, I, I don't recall because I, you know, off the top of my head, um, he, he looks Samoan. You know, I was going to say he looked like a Samoan. So was yeah. it Tonga kid or something? Look, yeah, like I think it was. Was it? Yeah, I have no idea. I've yeah, always wondered that, He went as a Tongan kid or something. Yeah. Yeah, because that was... Oh, ha- actually, Hold on, I'm oh, going to look it up. Which would be early days uh, Haku. Yeah, I want to look it up on my laptop, but I'm afraid. Because my... <laughs> yeah, yeah, I, 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 oh, yeah, the IMDb. Yeah, 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 we don't want to kick you off there. Lua Bano was yeah, oh, right. Dirk, Dirk Benedict, Sam Fatu, Tonga Tom. Oh, so he's a Fatu. But yeah. Was he Was he ever in, in the WWE? He was he ever... Tonga, Tonga Kid. On the contract? Oh, it was Tonga. No, Tonga oh, Kid was there. Tonga, so, Tonga Kid and Tama with the World Wrestling Federation. Uh, mm-hmm. Oh, World Championship Wrestling as the Samoan Savage. It was definitely mm. in the 80s. So. Yeah, wow. Huh. Yeah, because he was, it was good. It's uh, when the Holocaust yeah. body was a finisher. Apparently, he was also in Highlander. Oh, yeah. Cause he, the he was in the movie? Yeah, at the beginning, they started a wrestling show. Because yeah, yeah, they were. Yes, yeah, they're right. in a crowd. Yes, it's a wrestling right. show at Madison Square Garden, and then they go to the uh-huh. uh, parking lot and fight. Um, uh-huh. That might have been uh-huh. one of my first influences of professional wrestling. That can That's be wonderful. only one. Yes. Yeah. I've, I love that. I, it's such a good. Those, I love those movies. They're fun. Yeah, <laughs> yeah. As much sense as they, they make. Uh, yeah, but anyways, yeah. WrestleMania. Um. So so. Oh boy! All the way out there. WrestleMania supposedly has already been taped. I even mm-hmm. I, I actually yelled at somebody because they sent me spoilers. I, apparently, there were joke spoilers, but I still got really mad. Uh, oh, by the way, by the way, hold on. Before we get into this, warning, warning, warning. Tomorrow is April first. Do not oh. believe. Do not believe shit you see on the internet. In fact, don't go on the internet at all. Yeah, it's a good thing to skip the internet. Just. Just stay on Netflix. Because it's either yeah, going to be stuck depressing. At home. What are we going to do? <laughs> it's either going to be depressing and bullshit, or untrue and bullshit, or mm. from an unnamed orange source and always bullshit. Yeah. So, Tiger King's still alive. <laughs> April Fool. They found it. They, they, found the, they found the husband. Right. Right. <laughs> <laughs> they found the husband. He's living in Panama. Yeah, with Elvis and Tupac. Yeah. <laughs> the real Biggie Smalls. And Eddie Guerrero. Yeah. Mm-hmm. And oh, Kobe. Tiger King. Oh, um, too soon. Too soon with Eddie Guerrero. Too soon. Uh, hey, he was uh, uttered in a Undertaker, Biker Taker promo last night. So mm-hmm. That was a good promo. Yeah. Yeah, yeah by the way, Undertaker mentioned Eddie Guerrero. He knows they never really wrestled, right? They never did? They. All right, so I looked this up. Because I this was independent research I had on my own. Because I've actually seen an Undertaker versus Eddie Guerrero match. Mm-hmm. It was at a house show in Poughkeepsie. Oh. It was fucking great. Mm-hmm. It was no DQ. Eddie got color for the fucking match. For a house it show. For a house show. It was ridiculous. So we're talking <laughs> early 2000s and Eddie Guerrero's still bleeding on house shows. Uh, yeah, yeah, like it was unreal. So I looked this up on Cage Match, which, by the way, if you ever need to look something up, Cage Match is a great source. For Absolutely, shit yes, it is. Man. They've only had three singles matches. That's crazy. And I saw one of them. <laughs> nice. <laughs> like it was, it was a three house show loop, and that's it. Like it's unreal. It's ab- absolutely like they were the only other time they were even on the other side of the ring from each other was like a random tag match. Nice. Yeah. Nice. But, um, but yeah, it's unreal. So everything's filmed. We're still not yeah. admitting on WWE, even the Roman Reigns himself has posted a video that we were listening to last night. I think after the show that he's, uh, he's, he, he's talking about like, yeah, guys, I'm not on WrestleMania. Um, uh, but the WWE train is still rolling. Uh, I'm hoping Friday they'll mention it, but will they? I I don't even know. There was still like, a couple commercials not... running last night. Well, I mean, because there is a spoiler out of who is taking Roman's spot. Mm. Like, that is known. that is known. The result of the match is not known, as far as I saw. Yes, 
But so, the uh, Braun. What? Braun Strowman. Uh, we're not saying on the show. Yeah, in we're case. Not, we're not <laughs> no spoilers. No spoilers. Yeah, we're, just we're like Lucha Underground. Me. It better yeah, be Matt Riddle or I'm going to be pissed. No, I. <laughs> no, honestly, all right. If, if, if I had the book, if I was Booker Man, there are only two options for me. One is Big E. Big meaty <laughs> men slapping meat. His own words, not mine. And the other is Kevin Owens. Mm hmm. That's mm, okay. that's my choice, like because Bro. it makes perfect sense. Oh. Oh. We got double Justin. I think he. I think his Wi-Fi kicked him off again. Yep. <laughs> double Justin. What does it all mean? <laughs> double me. Double me. <laughs> oh, he's holding the Yeah, we got you. <laughs> all right, it's my backup. <laughs> I'll just turn this way, and when I come back, I'm like this. <laughs> Dude, that, was that, that was doubling up. You gotta kill one. You gotta mute one. All right. Oh yeah, yeah. There you go. Yeah, it's okay, guys. Uh, we're still doing. Did anyone see scanners? It's okay. We're still doing better than the nightly news, guys. It's okay. It's okay. That is true. <laughs> Damn it, Skynet. And, and we and, and we tell more facts. It, it, well, um, it, 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 and Mike was bringing up a good point about uh, uh, WWE has a chance to become more cin cinematic. We're talking about the Boneyard match. We're talking about what was the other one that wasn't in a ring? Uh, oh, the Funhouse match. Mm -hmm. uh, it, so, so it, it, this was hopefully with WWE's limited time frame here, it, but infinite uh, resources. Uh, it, 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 you know, they could pull off something cool with this. Uh, that's your hopes. Yeah, that's why I'm. That's why I'm excited about this year's mania. Mm -hmm. Mm -hmm. I, it, it does feel weird. Like, uh, I, 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 I feel like mania is going to be booked different because of the circumstances. Uh, you know, we were kind of talking about this last night. Like, you know, uh, you, Mike, you brought up the WrestleMania package. This, you know, last year's WrestleMania highlights are still being played. Well, they were still being played, like in front of every WWE show, right? Uh, mm -hmm. You know, you always you you always see that, and you're just like, wait, this was last year. Like, what are we doing? Um, now that package is an empty arena, <laughs> so you know, do, you know, this is this is going to severely alter. Like, not to mention uh, uh, Hall of Fame, not to mention you know whatever was going to be filmed over over Take WrestleMania over. weekend. Takeover. Takeover. Yeah. Uh, so like th this kind of just th this disrupts plans in general. Um, so, so I, I don't know. What do you guys think about the card so far? You know, we mentioned some of the matches, like, what are you looking for? What are you looking forward to? That's actually in a ring. Hmm. Um, uh, I mean, I mean, I was like Becky Lynch. Yeah. Becky and Shane is going to be a good match. Mm -hmm. So, so baby, baby, baby. Oh, J Justin, we have you doubling up again. Yeah. 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 <laughs> Just I'm mute, that one. mute the microphone on one of them. Yeah. There we go. There. There we there go. We. All right. I'll, I'll draw if I need it again. I'll put it back on and mute it. There we go. Okay. Yeah. Yeah. But Shayna, I mean, um, Becky Lynch and Shayna Bla Baszler for sure. Mm -hmm. Mm -hmm. That's gonna be really good. Mm -hmm. I I don't I don't. Like I I think it was a slam dunk that Shayna was going to win. Now I'm not so sure. Yeah. Yeah, I, I like I, I see them kind of going with Shayna and, and creating Shayna into you know what Becky has become. You know the she could be uh, the Brock Lesnar of that division uh, in in presentation at least. Uh, you know, uh, not the parts we don't like about Brock Lesnar never being around. Um, so show wrestling three times a year. Huh? No, 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 not that part. Not that part. The cool parts. The cool parts. <laughs> Brock Lesnar has been socially distancing from wrestling for more t for longer than we can count. Did you ever see? Did you guys see the ruthless aggression on Brock? Yeah, they make a really big point about how he doesn't like people even back then, and how he was only really around for two years. Yeah, yeah, it seems like a lot longer. It's still before. astonishing. Like it's still like holy shit, he accomplished a lot for that to to do what he did. Um, but uh, but still, <laughs> watch <laughs> watch an idol flipping from device to device. It's interesting. <laughs> We should make a whole show of just frustrating as hell. <laughs> my, I think my ex-wife messed with my uh, Wi-Fi. <laughs> <laughs>
Uh, I'm just gonna stay on my phone. <laughs> so, uh, uh, I don't. So, so you've seen some of the empty arena stuff. Uh, have you? Yeah. Uh, the, the indie wrestlers are kind of joking about. Well, I, I've wrestled in front of five people. It's kind of the same thing, right? Uh, it, you know. Yeah. <laughs> so, True. Uh, you know what? Do, what do you think about like this as a concept? Like it, it you know, in, in that field, like you saw the Oscar match the other night. Mm-hmm. Uh, I, I personally don't like it. Mm-hmm. I think, you know, there's a company, an independent company called Poser Wrestling. You know what I'm talking yeah, about? Yeah, I've heard of them. Um, th- yeah, but they do those real small. You know, they used to do it with literally no no fans. I think it was just the boys, you know, the wrestlers, our wrestlers out there cheering them on and stuff like that. Um, I think it was, yeah, I think you need a smaller arena. I think uh, even with them being in the, you know, their, I don't even know what they call that arena. The, the, it's the, the NXT perform- arena, right? No, no, it's a performance center. It's, it's a performance training center. center. So yeah, it's, it's no, still no, nobody big. nobody's allowed to come in and train because everything's officially shut down. So right, so they're it's, like, it, well, leave all the lights up. Right. I mean, they're they're a multi what they're they're a billion dollar corporation. So they probably they have to for their stock and everything. They have to keep performing and doing what they're doing. But mm-hmm. I I think it's I personally I think it's silly. Like yeah, I just yeah I can't get behind it. It just it doesn't feel like I understand it's sports and it's a you know it's 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 real. You know what I mean? So you have to keep doing it. You know, why stop? You know, but if the NFL stopped and the NHL stopped and the NBA stopped, I think they should do the same thing. Well, this, you know, is, just, yeah. just... this is interesting because I, like wrestling is a cross section between sports and uh, uh, movies, production, stage show, whatever you want to classify mm-hmm. that side of it. Right. Uh, mm-hmm. Everything mm-hmm. television production has stopped basically in the world. Uh, everything sports has stopped. But wrestling somehow is squeaking by at this point, and if yeah, it, I, I don't. Yeah, it's. I think there's a difference between because a lot of like TV and movie productions, and even the NBA, like the NBA has players' unions. TV and movie productions, they have insurance for like the actors and the crew and stuff like that. And, and we, if anything, and we don't have that for wrestling. And we have independent contractors, so yep. yeah, I can see that. I can see that. Like that, I, that that's really the because if there was a wrestling union, shit would not be happening. No, oh, there, there, there yeah. wouldn't even have been a discussion. No. Would, there should be. There's, there's, us wrestlers always have talked about that for forever. There should be a union for us. Why it's, have it's we never absurd done? that there isn't? I have no idea. It's absurd because of how big wrestling is now. There, uh, like the Teamsters and the uh, Iron Workers and all that. There should be a wrestling union. There's, you know, and for for God's sake, every tenth person in the world is a wrestler now. You know, is a wrestler. You know, or, or tries to make that cross into that the territory. Mm-hmm. So, yeah, the, the fact that there is not a union, or the fact that someone hasn't, uh, like, there's always been talk about it, but no one's ever actually done it, blows my mind. Mm-hmm. You know, I mm-hmm. I personally wouldn't even know how to go about doing that, but the fact that there isn't one, it, it's it, it literally makes no sense. You know, because that would solve so many problems. Like, like yeah. so, something like maybe not a union, but like there's is the is the players' association the union or is that like you know with with like um it's just, it's essentially it's union. essentially the union like yeah like, because they have like they have like their own contracts and stuff like that yeah yeah because uh, negotiations and shit like that because I know so, like yeah. when you look at like say a Madden game you say okay the teams and all that stuff that's through the NFL license. But then you need a players union to have like you that's know. Why you know. That's why they haven't made the NCAA games in a while because you would need to give the players likeness rights for that. Exactly. Exactly. Uh, it, yeah, and I remember like even back in the day when we talked about like at, at uh, football games, like there was some that would have the NFL but not the players <laughs> in it. Well, yeah, or like vice versa. Um, famously, Michael Jordan was never in like any two uh, K games. Mm-hmm. Really. Mm-hmm. Yeah, like Michael Jordan wasn't in there for a while. Like he, Michael Jordan never in NBA Jam. Yeah, that's why your choices were Scottie Pippen, B.J. Armstrong, and Tony Kukoc. No Michael Jordan. No, he damn sure was playing at the time. Mm-hmm. Mm-hmm. Yeah, that's for sure. But he he was separate and had he was so big he had his own contract. He had a cartoon and on he, Saturday and- morning. He did have a chaos in the Windy City, so we can kind of forgive him. For well, that. there you go. Can we? <laughs> have you played that game? Yes. Throw the ice balls! Come on, sword. Okay, all right. <laughs> going chaos in the Windy City. I didn't. I didn't think that was good. It's like a, it's like a side scroll, isn't it? Yeah, it's a side scroll. I'm googling it. <laughs> yeah, but no, but that, that's why. Like, you had like certain people who would license their likenesses out for the games, like Ken Griffey Jr. Baseball. Mm-hmm. 
Like that's the only way he would be in the baseball game is if he was the featured player. Hmm. Like there was a bunch of stuff like that back in the day. Mm-hmm. Well, we'll see how long this will go. I mean, we were just looking at stories uh, uh, coming across. There was some, uh, you know, again, this is kind of rumor-ish, but uh, there was a story about uh, it looks like all the events for through April are canceled uh, and, and everything. So, so, and we don't know. We, we we kind of pontificated last night. I forget it was on the show or off about like what does wrestling look like because supposedly we are taped up through SmackDown next week after um, WrestleMania. Yeah, that's that's the rumor going around. So, um, but we'll talk about what what are we gonna watch after WrestleMania? Um, what are we gonna do? Well, I think I think I think Ronnie Starks is definitely um hosting the uh uh, uh in his house uh 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 WrestleMania party at this point. I mean, if, <laughs> I guess I have to, right? <laughs> <laughs> well, we all kind of have yeah. to. So, we're gonna, actually I was thinking because uh, a couple of my buddies want to do it too. So, if you want to. Like we could just do a big uh, Google Hangouts and just watch it all together. Yeah, well, it might be time to pull out Zoom or something that can do like like fifty people and be like, guys, let's just jump in and watch it together. <laughs> let's just so. let's play on that for. Uh, oh, let's play on that for. I don't know. I guess I'll hey, we got two it. nights to try it. So <laughs> uh, yeah, let's try it Saturday uh, night. It feels so different. yeah. What, yeah, go ahead. Real quick, what is yeah? What is this two night thing? I don't I don't know about that. Oh, I, oh I not seen. only not only are we in the arena one night. Since instead of you sitting there for seven hours to watch WrestleMania in an empty arena on one night, they're splitting it into two nights of eight eight, eight, eight matches each from the looks of it. And the the, 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 the listed run times are three to three to three and a half hours each night. So I don't, I don't still a lot of time. So, I don't believe that for a second. But what that length? You think it's a lot longer? Yeah. I, I think four it's four hours. I think it's four hours each night. I can see that. I can see that. And there is a one-hour pre-show. So, Justin, what? you have to put aside your Saturday and your Sunday now to watch Wrestle Kingdom. <laughs> hey, know, to be right? fair. Well, I got time. I'm not doing anything. Yeah. When, when Wrestle <laughs> Kingdom did this, this is what everyone on the internet said they want. And I'm like, no, you don't. No, you Wrestle don't Kingdom's know. a whole different It's a whole different thing. It's, it's a crazy. whole... Well, we you also, know, what's that mean well, that people used to say back in the day? Like, what is it? In Canada, it's a tradition. In Japan, it's a sport. And um, there was another one, and then said in America it's a joke or something. Yeah, which yeah. I don't believe. I think at one time maybe, but not now. I think we're good now. Mm-hmm. But um, yeah, Japan. I mean, it's it's legit. Like I mean, that's it's, I mean, it's a sport here, but it's a sport. Mm-hmm. I mean, in Japan, I mean, it's mm-hmm. like a way of life. You yeah, know, that's yeah. wild. Yeah, yeah. someday. So, yeah. <laughs> right. yeah, right. We're working on that Japan trip for when uh, uh, we're allowed to go places again. <laughs> two two years yeah. is what we're looking at. Two years we're out. On- Brony and the Sorg take Japan. That's going to be our vlog. <laughs> <laughs> yes. Yes. This is happening. Um, anyways, well, well, we'll see what's happening with that. In the meantime, there's a lot going on here. In you know, At least you can catch up on a lot of stuff. Uh, we have uh, IndieWrestling.us, IndieWrestling.network. There's, there's, there's new stuff coming, guys. Uh, we actually did just post a, a, an interview uh, the first half of an interview, um, one of our uh, uh, series on the network, uh, and you can uh, see a free six minutes of that on the IndieWrestling.us YouTube and uh, on social media. Uh, so uh, it, it's Rise of the Nerd with uh, Lewis the Nerd, who just uh, 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 finished his uh, Loser Leaves Rise Wrestling um, match last month for Rise, and uh, with Marcus Mann, Brandon K. A great discussion on there. <laughs> Uh, and again, you can see that first six minutes about uh, his days in training, and uh, and and check out that first part with uh, your free trial of indie wrestling and dot network. Also, uh, rolling out on VOD and DVD, uh, the uh, top prospects, uh, John Roden. Uh, so we have his path of the becoming the first ever uh, prospect pro wrestling champion over there, and also the entire back catalog. There's a lot to catch up on if you haven't yet with prospect pro wrestling, RWA, Rise Wrestling with a Y, uh, Uprise, Black Diamond Wrestling. See see what Ronnie's been up to the last couple of years in general over there. And also a lot of new content added to the YouTube page, new contents added to our Twitch stream as well. Uh, so if you're uh, uh, flipping through that, there's a lot of stuff from again, RWA rise, um, you know, some women's promotions, some other promotions that we haven't had on there. Uh, Wrestle Rex is in there. The first Wrestle Rex, which is also part of the network. If you want to see that on demand along with Lucha, Lucha Fiesta that happened right across the street from here. You know, back when we could gather at the taco stand. Uh, so, 
<laughs> yeah, I did the have Ultima some, Dragon. Yes, the Ultima Dragon was right there. Uh, I didn't get to see him. <laughs> somebody messaged me. He's like, he's like, hey, I'm coming in your neighborhood for a taco. Can I come in? I'm like, uh, technically no. <laughs> so, yeah, during, said wave. Just or, walk over yeah, yeah. I got a message. Hi, Sorg. Bye, Sorg. When I apparently saw me going for pizza. So, uh, but anyways, uh, go check that out. Um, you know, remember wrestling the way the way the way we want it to be. The way we want it to be again, and uh, looking forward when this thing lifts, uh, doing new content, even more new content and new matches on there as well. So, speaking of which, like I said, well, we have a great RWA representation today. <laughs> yes, you do. Yes, and leading oh. into what was supposed to be RWA Spring Fling, definitely looking for was looking forward to that, uh, but can't wait to to continue with RWA once all this is wrapped up. Um, uh, I I don't so so they're talking you you're actually in charge now of the social media over on RWA, right? That is correct. Yes. So tell yeah, me, it's a good. Go ahead. Uh, go ahead. Tell, tell me a little bit more about this. Like, like R- R- RWA. Um, um, it, it's amazing because RWA has had the most interactive Facebook page, I think, out of any promotion that I'm aware of in the area. Uh, looking at just just look at my notifications <laughs> at the time. <laughs> uh, but 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 there hasn't been like other than like us putting the match clips out. There hasn't been a big social media kind of push for that uh holistically can you tell us a little bit about getting into that um yeah i just um social media is such a big thing now obviously you know we all know that um and i caught a a um what are they called it's like basically a press conference from gosh i can't remember his name he swears a lot he's an entrepreneur Uh, exactly who Gary Vaynerchuk? Yes. yes. Yeah, yeah, that's it. I don't know if you saw me post it, but um, it was a good watch. And it just, he was talking about social media and everything and how much of an influence it is. And, you know, that's to not use it is, you know, just r- stupid. You know, it's free. You know, why aren't you taking advantage of this? So all I did was I, I basically came up with a few ideas, you know, like, well, it's like, l- like little segments, little shows. And I got the inspiration from the WWE because they do that, uh, the, the table of three. And then they do the one where they're traveling from one show to another, just on the road, Mm -hmm. you know, which is actually my favorite one. Um, But then I got, I just started thinking of ideas, you know, and then I came up with one like, uh, like, like Joe Rosa and Chris Linnell, you know, how they're now together. So it's like a couples thing, you know, it's kind of like satire, kind of funny, you know, here and there. Um, There's, you know, we do the behind the curtain with Chris Linnell. We do the, the new one, the 24 hours with a wrestler and it's called um, tag along. You know, just little things. I got another one coming down the pipeline where um, Mr. Wink, you saw Mr. Wink earlier, he's going to answer fan questions, you know, and things like that. Yeah, just you wait, know, we're little about, things. Wait, wait, for those that may be on audio, we're talking about your cat. Yeah, exactly. <laughs> okay, okay. My, cat, my cat, Mr. <laughs> Wink. Yeah. Have you seen anyone seen him? He's a talking cat. I mean, you got, <laughs> he used to cut promos all the time. Uh, um, I've never seen it. You know, he only talks on camera. It's weird. But uh, but he once the camera's rolling, he just, he just, he just doesn't shut up. So I'm going to have the fans submit their questions and he'll just say, you know, answer all, his, all the questions. But the, the point is, you know, we're trying to get people to continuously want to come to our page, mm-hmm. you know. So we try to post something at the minimum every other day, you know, because we're trying to stretch out our content because we don't know how long this is all going to go on. Mm-hmm. So that, so that's it. You know, that's basically it. We just want the more people you get coming uh, to your page, you know, only thing, only good can come from it. So absolutely. That's right. what we the more fun you get in the seat. <laughs> Mm-hmm. So exactly. uh, will Mr. Wink have merch? Yes, he will. Actually, there's a shirt being made right now. I'm in. <laughs> nice. Yeah. Fantastic. Count me in. May have, yeah. to, may have to get on the wink train. Uh, exactly. so, so, so like I said, like, it, it seems like there's always been a lot of response. Like if nothing else, like, uh, you know, the, the, the staff at RWA is always like ask questions to the fans. What do you want to see? Like they're always very good with that. Right. And, and like I said, even just those have just had insane responses. I mean, I, I, you know, Ryan Edmonds is probably the most hated person because everything that happens on social media between a show comes out of the fans when he comes to the ring. And it's, it's really mm-hmm. kind of astonished to watch. And that has happened for like a good five, six, seven, eight years at this point. Like, are you mm-hmm. seeing uh, how now that we've kind of converted to having more of this video content? Are you seeing those people kind of reciprocate with that even more? Oh, absolutely. Yeah. And that's funny you said that, you know, that was one of the things I used as a, um, what, you know, I'm trying, I don't know what I'm trying to say, but uh, like the response that Edmonds would get, 
Mm-hmm. You know, like you just said, you you could you would hear fans, and you're out there the whole show. Mm-hmm. Well, actually, no, you're backstage now. But <laughs> you know, but but used to be out there the whole show, and you would hear, you know, the reactions. So it was proof that okay, people are actually going to the site. Mm-hmm. You know, people are actually going to our social media. Let's give them something different that no one else in the area is doing. Mm-hmm. That the only other company I know of that's doing this is the WWE. Mm-hmm. And if you're going to copy someone in a wrestling company, the best company to copy is the WWE. So, um, I don't yeah, know. I definitely see what you're I don't know what you're talking about. Our waffles with women and our uh, wrestling <laughs> frigate 20 are completely uh, original concepts that we're doing here on the network. Uh, so, yeah, you don't even have a table, Sorg. <laughs> we, 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 well, we, 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 they, there was a table, uh, we shipped it in. Uh, Sorg, I'm <laughs> trying to help, I'm trying to help you. <laughs> <laughs> That's awesome. That's awesome. Oh, uh, but anyways, uh, no, it's good to see. It's good to see stuff going on there, and, and also good to see you still in action with uh, with RWA. Um, mm-hmm. uh, I, I, I've, I've, oftentimes, uh, you know, y- you know me. I mean, I started, you know, back when we first chatted back in two thousand six, and a lot of you guys that were around then doing doing amazing matches were. Uh, now, now doing some great stuff with RWA with a lot of different talent, whether that be you and Joe Rosa, or or uh, you know, you know, Dennis Gregory and Super Hentai uh, mixing up with uh, some different uh, talent these days, including like Gory and and, and Crazy Steve it had an amazing match mm-hmm. last show. Um, you know, it's really good to see you guys st- still okay. going. And, and uh, don't think- forget, uh, J-Rock, there, sword. oh, go ahead, Wheels. Hey, don't forget J Rock. J Rock, of course, uh, doing a lot of stuff. Do it up uh, for <laughs> uh, he's mixing he's been mixing up with bill collier and uh daniel Lee's with some, some great matches lately too so uh you know good to see you guys uh still kicking ass out there oh and Thank we you. lost yeah, him he lost. Uh, oh he's with you he's oh, with us he <laughs> sorry what was that justin oh, yeah. I'm like no, I, I was like uh um, no, no no i said thank you yeah it's uh it's it's a great it's a great company to work for it's uh you know, I, I, I'm happy that I came over there. You know, it's, it's a whole different, it's a whole different, it, the fans are great. They're more of an old school crowd. You know, they're really, you know, they're good people. You know, it's, it's, it's a completely different feeling than any other company in the area. It's the loudest, the loudest, you know, craziest crowd in the area, hands down, has to be. Exactly, um, exactly. That's yeah. awesome. So go check it out. Catch up what's going on there. RWA's uh, Facebook. That's RWA Pro Renegade Wrestling Alliance. Uh, search that. It'll pop right up there. And, uh, and of course, you know a lot of stuff on YouTube. Uh, a lot of the classic matches are on YouTube mm-hmm. as well. And uh, there's going to be some new best ofs in, uh, in line coming out too. So you can relove uh, some of the interesting names that have gone through uh, that area. I can say actually putting the finishing touches in the next couple of days. A Shane Taylor best of. Finally going to get that thing out. I've been trying to get one out for years. And hey, we got time. <laughs> so... Uh, uh, yeah, and we'll see what else. Uh, we got a list. We got a list of a few things coming out of RWA, uh, and and a few of our friends. The best of wheels. Best of wheels. So wait, wait. What were the best of wheels? Okay, you just got you just got threatened to get thrown off a of stage. There was that time that Jock Samson uh, was verbal. That was my idea. Was verb was your idea? <laughs> <laughs> I was like, what if we did this? You know, like, <laughs> there was there was the time that Jock Samson was verbally assaulting you at ringside. Uh, yeah. yeah. <laughs> I mean, I, I guess we can cross over that footage of uh, uh, necro, or uh, you getting uh, thrown at rec- necro, necro Butcher at IWC. That was a classic moment. Oh, well, yeah, that's true, yeah. So, <laughs> I don't remember that. You what don't happened remember there? That? You were on it. That was a, a Super Indie 8. That was the two-day one. I was there. Yeah, was, yeah. yeah, yeah. I was well, there. you probably were getting ready for a match when it happened. Because uh, it was Jimmy DeMarco and uh, Necro Butcher yeah. match. Mm-hmm. Actually, I think from that very same show because I was I was poking through some stuff today and I found a match idol that you it was a ten man tag that I I can't like I know I think Shulo no Ricky Reyes was on your team and a couple other guys but the other team was like Shane Taylor Ray Rowe um um I think Shima was in there on one uh, maybe your side uh, uh, who else was on there both the Chris brothers. Like like the ins- it was is an insane ten guy tag uh, going I on. I don't remember. <laughs> I don't remember it. <laughs> you don't remember it at all. Uh, no. I'll have to send that one over to you. It's it's, it's you it's, should. <laughs> <laughs> also, I think that is, that entire show I believe is on the YouTube page. So if you if you want to oh, go good. relive that whole yeah. thing and wheels, let's wait. Let's wait. Let's go back to to Hot Wheels getting thrown. 
at somebody. He was in the Did crowd. he actually pick you up and throw you? No, 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 no. Or, no. Uh, oh. Jimmy DeMarco, uh, it was, because Wheels was sitting ringside. He was a fan. Yeah. And he's in ringside and was over that one side. And I think they still they had the scissor lift for the for the light because they were, I think, mm-hmm. just starting to do that when the, they started yeah. darkening out the, the, the lights in there. And right. uh and and they're fighting outside. Jimmy DeMarco grabs Wheels' wheelchair and just shoves it towards Necro Butcher. And Necro Butcher <laughs> runs from it like he's deathly scared <laughs> of seeing this man in a wheelchair coming at him. I, heard, yeah. I don't know. In my mind, maybe Necro was thinking, lawsuit, lawsuit, <laughs> and he's running away. <laughs> <laughs> That's right. He didn't have that wrestler money yet. Uh, yeah, exactly. The, the, the wrestler money, uh, the movie. Mm-hmm. So, <laughs> Yeah, yeah. Man. So, uh, what, what what is That's the craziest wild. thing that you've been into, Idol, over your years? Oh, but there was these two chicks, and wait a minute, wait, it's a question. Wait, no, wait, wait, around the ring, around the ring, around no, the ring. No, 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 not backstage, uh, uh, not, no. Uh, uh, no uh, oh, oh, okay, okay. That, yeah, that would have been a weird story. Well, that was in the ring. Oh, wait, no, oh. Right. okay. Um, let's see. <laughs> uh, I don't, you mean like a, what kind of match? The yes, craziest I mean kind of in match front of fans as opposed to WrestleMania. Yeah, uh, I don't know. I, I, a cage match is is crazy as, as I've ever gotten. I've never really you never you never you know, had a handicap man thrown at you. No, no, no. I don't, I'm trying to think. Nothing really crazy and awkward like that has ever has ever happened to me. <laughs> I, I, I honestly, no. yeah, no, I did nothing. Just think of, Justin, you know what, what? you not remembering is a uh, Ellsworth base brawl. Ah, uh, yeah. I did a back a moonsault off the top of a moving truck. That clip That's came up. Right. Like a, did you just post a picture from that? Yeah, because there was something going around. Post a picture of if you're a wrestler, post a picture. Yeah. And don't explain it. Yeah, and because it, it says U-Haul, and it said um, make them better move. And then everyone, when I, first, when I first posted that, what, over a decade ago, they were like, oh, you went with a better move there, didn't you? I'm like, yeah, yeah, but I'm don't. Sh- you know, it's like, an, but, uh, it's like an inspirational quote picture. Exactly. It's basically exactly what it is. That's probably the craziest thing I've done, but it was funny because when we were, as soon as Jason Gorey got to the show and he was, um, he was in that match. Very first thing he said to me was, I'm jumping off that truck. And I said, no, you're not. I already called it. You know, it was, just like, call, it was like calling shotgun when you're riding in a car. You know, no, no. I already called shotgun. You know, it's like, I get it. And I'm older. I'm the vet. I'm pulling my vet card. I, I'm, glad, I'm glad I see this happen because I, I, I don't know how many times for an era, for, for a certain era there, we would come to a show, especially like the new old shows for like Mountain State Madness. And we'd look around and be like, that's what Facade's going to jump off tonight. <laughs> yeah. <laughs> Oh. Yeah, no kidding. Facades, he's good for that. Yeah, yeah. Man. All I was right. terrified when I did that jump. I was terrified. Because I, 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 you know, I was a flyer then. And I got up there and I was looking down this way. And then I'm thinking to myself, this is fucking crazy. And I've got to turn around now. You know, I didn't want to call an audible when I'm up there. So I was like, this is crazy. Oh, God, what the fuck am I doing? You know, I'm turning around. I'm like, oh, I hope they catch me. You know, like, this is, oh, man. But it's funny stories. When I flipped, you could see my right thigh hit Jimmy DeMarco right on top of the head. And we're laying there. And he goes, oh, I go, you okay? He's like, oh, your bodacious big thigh just crushed me in the skull. He's like, it's, your thigh is so thick and magical. You know, Jimmy, he's being crazy Jimmy DeMarco. Yeah. So we're all laying there just laughing. And there were no fans like right around this thing because it was far enough away from the, uh, yeah. from the ring. But yeah, that's the craziest thing I've done. And that's a good memory, too, Jim DeMarco saying that. So funny. Well, we're going to we're gonna have to find that clip and, mm-hmm. and repost that, too. Yeah. All right, Justin Idol, thank you so much. Uh, hey, stick around. We're going to be talking about uh, Mayhem, the final, the rest of the matches of Mayhem Mania, the final rundown uh, for that. The, the, now the smoke is cleared. So if you missed it, you don't have to go through two and a half hours of Patreon in the bank from last week. Yeah. Oh, God. Awesome. I can't wait to hear it. Oh, yeah. man. Uh, so uh, Main Street Matt's going to join us, and we're going to see what else we're going to talk about. Probably Tiger King. Let's be awesome. honest about it. <laughs> so uh, we'll be right back after this with the big question. 
Yeah, the big question. Oh, wait, no. Hey, wait, wait, I got to throw an ad out. Hey, our friends at uh, Slice on Broadway. That's what needs to happen. Supporting Pittsburgh Podcasting with the perfect pepperoni pizza. A lot of you guys here in the area, wherever you are, please be supporting your uh, local pizza place uh, eatery that is still open and they're still doing delivery and uh, Slice on Broadway doing that. Rico, the owner of Slice on Broadway, a rare appearance by Rico in the neighborhood. Not in the neighborhood. I think he lives here. Uh, But (laughs) in that store, uh, because they do have four locations locations in the area but i got to see him uh so things are obviously uh really hopping for them up right now so go check them out slice on broadway.com uh four locations here in the pittsburgh area and thank you to them for supporting the show now we'll be right back after this uh with the big question and the final bits of mayhem mania sidekick media services we are your sidekick in business for social media video production and more Find out more at SidekickMediaServices.com. This is the Aaron Sheik. You listen to the Mayhem Show. Iran, number one. Russia, number one. USA, ah, top. We are back. It is time for the big question, and we got everybody with us. We got Wheels. We got Justin Idol. We got Mad Mike, Ronnie Starks. Making sure I'm not missing anybody. And with us is Mainstream Matt. He's back. He's recovered. He's gotten sleep. His I wouldn't say I've recovered. No? <laughs> no? You still got the game beard on. <laughs> yeah, well, I mean, that's not necessarily... Well, there's a lot going on, Sorg. I yeah, don't know if you've yeah. heard. <laughs> but, um, I have no idea. I have no idea, my Matt. <laughs> oh. Anyways, uh, but we're, we, you know, we're going to talk about that. We're going to talk about what's going on there. But in the meantime, we do have the return of the big question. Mad Mike, you have the question. I think we previewed this last night. I, I do. Um, so, given our current situation and the state of things, mm-hmm. um, now I I request non perverted answers, everyone. Oh, I'm done, Tina. <laughs> especially you, Tina. Mm-hmm. Um, which wrestler would you like to be quarantined with? To hang Ooh. out with. To hang oh. out with and do share stories and all that stuff. Uh, can I go first? <laughs> well, he's right on it. Uh, Matt Riddle. Really? I, I, feel, I feel like we'd have some fun, bro. <laughs> bro. <laughs> you, don't, you don't feel like you'd be over bro on that? No, I feel like we'd probably just get high and just say bro all the time to each other. <laughs> okay, that's probably a good way to pass the time during the current situation. Okay. <laughs> That's a good answer. Well, you better have a lot of food there, Ronnie. Oh, don't worry, man. <laughs> it's okay. I work at a grocery store. I'm essential. We'll be fine. Oh, okay. You're good. Okay. Ron, Ronnie's got the Ronnie's got the access to that good, good stuff. He's got oh, that. Whole- yeah. Oh, yeah. man, we got some new steaks. We got some new steaks in, man. You want the steak, brother? <laughs> I, I think I think I would definitely pick pick Xavier Woods because just we'd play video games the whole time. Yes. Like, okay. Just that's easy for me. Yeah. 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 All right, who's next? Uh, I'll go for it. Let's see. I was going to say Alexa Bliss, but Mike Alexa. said we couldn't be naughty, and that's what why I would. Listen, I'm sure she's nice to talk to. I, actually, Alexa, actually, Alexa qualified. Bliss and I would just watch Disney Plus all day. Yeah, she's a nice okay, person. Yes. So, yeah. So, yeah. there you go, Mike. My pick is Alexa Bliss. There you go. All and right. I can confirm she is nice to talk to. Yeah. And I want to put her in my back. She seems, like, she seems like a damn delight. Yes. Yes. Hopefully, she'll bring the piggy too, and you guys can play with the piggy. <gasps> the piggy. <laughs> oh my dude, God, dude, I had her on Instagram, and I just saw the piggy, and I'm like, she looks like so much fun. And, <laughs> and guys, guys, put some respect on that name. That is Larry Steve. Sorry, Larry Steve. That's that Larry Steve. Put some yeah, respect Larry on Steve. the name. Respect the, lazy, the Larry Steve. Yeah, put some oh. respect on it. Justin Idol, what <laughs> other wrestler <laughs> than you would you like to hang out with in quarantine? Well. I can't answer this straight faced because I don't want to talk about wrestling the whole time. So I've got to go kind of convert perverted. I have to, it's like, it has to be done. I would definitely take Caden Carter because <laughs> she's a gamer okay. and you know, and she's, she's got the same kind of attitude I got. She's, okay. just, she's out there wild, crazy. She's hot. You know, <laughs> it's like, I don't think she's a big drinker. I'm not a big drinker. You know, we'd have a lot in common. So I think we'd get along good. Perfect. If I have to pick a if I have to pick a dude just to be, you know, to uh, uh let's see, probably Gargano. Huh? Oh yeah. Yeah. 
Oh yeah. I could say Gargano because he's a huge gamer. Mm. Um, you know, or if we do couples, I could say Gargano and uh, his wife. You know what I mean? Just to be a nice, because he won't go anywhere probably without his wife. So you know, we be gaming the whole time and just you know, it'd be a fun time. You know. There you go. There you go. So, real chill. Real chill. Kaden Carter. <laughs> Wow! <laughs> Man. Guys, I'm going AJ Styles since he's a gamer too. He so. is, yeah, yeah, yeah. yeah. Uh, he, he's he's one of those uh, uh, traveler. He brings the Xbox with him, guys. Yeah, uh, I, I saw the suitcase one time. So, um, let's see, uh, Matt Carlin's. What about you? Does it have to be an actual wrestler? Or just someone inside the industry? Um, I, my, All right, I'll just throw out the answer. How about, I, I, I think it would be interesting to, I, now I don't know how long the quarantine's going to be, but I think it'd be interesting to hang out with Paul Heyman for an extended period of time. Ooh, just that incredible oh, volume oh. of stories. And I feel like he would do all the talking and all I would have to do is just sit there and listen. Yeah, so he comes like downstairs and is underwear one more to get breakfast. Um, Ed, Ed, someone who has had a bagel purchase for him by Paul Heyman, he is a very nice guy. Okay, even better. All right, I, I will. I will stamp that then. I forgot about that. You had Paul Heyman purchased a bagel for you. Yeah, on on Holy Thursday. On Holy Thursday. <laughs> yeah, that. Oh God, that's still like he was high. I was drunk. It was a very weird story. <laughs> <laughs> that's awesome. <laughs> no, all right, all right, all right. I'll I'll run it down. So, yes. So. Um, I'm sure I this to, is in the lore somewhere, but it's just, I've said it several times in the lore, but it, it's worth repeating because it's a short story. Um, so I went to a Catholic affiliated college, so we had off a uh, Good Friday, and I went out drinking on Holy Thursday because that's what you do when you're Catholic, I think. <laughs> um, and I got very drunk on my way home. I did the same thing I always do. I stop at H and H Bagels because they are the best bagels in the world. Fuck you if you think otherwise. <laughs> Um, wow. Yeah, exactly. It was about one in the morning. Uh, I'm stopping in H and H bagels and I'm waiting for my order. There's a guy in front of me, very distinctive, um, like skinny, skinny ponytail and big ass bald head. I'm like, that looks like Paul Heyman. And like, I'm thinking this in myself and I'm very inebriated. So I'm trying, <laughs> to, I'm trying to angle myself to like, look around. I'm like, I'm like, that looks like fucking Paul Heyman. And finally, all he sees, all he sees is this. Yeah, pretty like, <laughs> like, 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 you know? like, so, so he turned around after he made his order and he's very, very red faced. I'm like, I'm like, all right, fuck it. I'm going for it. And I, I go, I'm like, excuse me, sir. I, I'm sorry. I'm very drunk. Are you Paul Heyman? And he's like, "Oh yes, I am!" <laughs> like in the distinctive, like like the only person in the world who can sound like Paul Heyman is Paul Heyman. That was like, actually good. You sounded like him just now, actually. Thank you. <laughs> yeah, thank it, was, it was actually close. Thank you. Uh, but I was like, and I immediately fanboyed out because a I was drunk, two it was Paul Heyman. So I'm like. I, I do not mean to keep you. I'm just a huge fan. I went to Hardcore Heaven 1999 in Poughkeepsie, New York. It was the first time I cursed in front of my father because of, <laughs> because of a you fucked up chant. And he said I was allowed to curse. And I just, I love everything you've ever done. Thank you very much. And he's like, you know what? Get this young man whatever he wants. <laughs> and he, paid, he paid for my bagel. And at, like he, he left because they got their order. And he paid for my bagel. And as I'm leaving, I see them getting in a big ass black Range Rover with smoke billowing. Out. <laughs> Just like they hot box the Range Rover on Holy Thursday. Like it was two it things. Was great. I did get a selfie with them. I did get a picture with them. Oh, I had a camera on me. Good. Yeah, I, I. It's somewhere. I don't know where it is, but it's somewhere. Like I'm. I look very drunk. He looks very high. You <laughs> find this picture. Yeah, uh, definitely. It was on my MySpace somewhere. <laughs> oh, time to go on MySpace. Uh, let me see if I can. I, I know you were going to ask two things. Oh, yeah. Did you share a bagel with him? Like, here's your half. Here's my half. <laughs> uh, no, no. Because <laughs> okay. I, I, I been... thought that was a little untoward. Yeah. I, I but then. Was a little more. <laughs> yeah, this... Yeah. <laughs> yes. What did he get? We need to know what he ordered. This is a very crucial. Oh, it was a. Bag of bagels, like bag, it was. Bag. It was, 
it was a very large bag of bagels. I'm not sure what was in it. it was yeah, bagel. I am eat for bagels. Yeah. You should have had him sign one half of the bagel and then just <laughs> who, who keep, keep keep like Chad the Shad? Yeah. I wanted to eat that bagel. <laughs> yeah, well you get another one to sign it. You know, you said get whatever you want. Somewhere. You know? so, so. I didn't want to take advantage. I I, I you know. That'd have been funny though. Imagine selling that on eBay ten years later. Paul Heyman signed bagel. You know, there's a chip that looks like Jesus' face, and then you got a Paul Heyman signed bagel right next to it. You know? and, and and the Petride pizza from Super Indy Six uh, signed by Chess Flexor. Yeah. yeah, yeah, still out there, still out there. Holy crap! Uh, from the chat room, Bobby says he's got a list. Of course, Oscar, Kevin Owens, or Zack Ryder and Kurt Hawkins. Why are you picking pairs? <laughs> I guess wrestler, not wrestler. I mean, what tag team would you like to hang out with? Yeah, uh, Tina says Biggie, Kenny Omega, Omega, and Naomi just for the uh, dance parties alone. Mm. Good answers. Good answers. I mean, if we're all picking a tag team, I would pick the Iconics. Um, <laughs> oh, uh, why? Because Billy's actually like a huge nerd, mm-hmm, mm-hmm. and and. I could just ask some stuff about Australia the whole time. Did you see the pictures of them from high school? Yeah. Yeah. Oh, yeah. Yeah. You probably would have hung out with them. Uh, So (laughs) Even even though, ironically, they didn't hang out with each other. Yeah, yeah. That's the funny thing. Yeah. Um, So, big question. It's good to be back. It's good to be back to the old format. Well, speaking of, of the other format, Mainstream Matt, we, we, we survived Mayhem Mania so far. What, what, where are we at? So far, it's over. So far, it's over. <laughs> hey, Sorg. Hey, yes. Sorg. Speaking of old segments, remember when? Oh, no. <laughs> we'll we'll have to bring it back if there's remember, no. remember when, May, when Matt came to me with this concept five years ago about this thought experiment, and I'm like, eh, let's give it a shot. <laughs> Look where it's at now. Someday I'll tell you the story of where that whole idea even came from. It shouldn't even. We, we don't need to get into it here. <laughs> that like, that so we like... don't even know the lore of Mayhem Mania. If you want to know the genesis of Mayhem Mania, perhaps we'll share it sometime. But that, that, that sounds like a Patreon recording at some point. So yeah, mm-hmm. we got to record some back. We, we got to save some stuff. It is a long quarantine. We got to hold back <laughs> a little bit so that uh, we don't burn ourselves out. <laughs> No, 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 no. So, so where are we at? What is the fallout? Um, there was a lot of reactions over the last week, as I mentioned, partially from our uh, graphic artist uh, 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 in the in the Slack. Uh, for one, oh, thing. he's not coming back next year. He's, he's done. not. Is he? Is he retired? I, 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 maybe. Be, you yeah. know what? He might forget by then. <laughs> you know, it seems like every year, poor Garza is like, he comes out of Patreon in the bank. And we send him like two dozen graphics that he gives to make and he's just like <laughs> what in the hell were you guys doing and i'm just like you know i just it, we, we had to like goose it a little bit we needed to get get to that finish line so yeah but i mean yeah last week we got carried away that reality stone was a bad idea very <laughs> <laughs> uh, no, it, but it felt, bad but idea it felt like we were it it's felt like we were like, like a little bit stuck. Like where was like the, it felt like we were having trouble like making that because like it seems like every year we do mayhem mania and someone's like will roll in with like a match you know and everyone will just be like that's the one that's the match you know um, and it felt like we never got to that match when, uh, this year when you guys put up the guy from Gargoyles and I didn't I didn't watch the show last week I'm sorry. I was sleeping. Okay. But, uh, yeah, so, like, I saw the graphic this week, and I said, what the fuck were they doing? Uh, to be clear, it wasn't <laughs> it wasn't the character from Gargoyles. It was Goliath, the mythical creature from the Bible, I believe. From the Bible. Yeah. yeah. Then why would he pick Gargoyle Goliath from the cartoon? Because he was find, pissed off. Yeah, because he was pissed <laughs> off. And believe find... it or not, Ronnie, there, there's no animated version of the Bible. Yeah, plus like every wait, wait, not yet. Wait, is wait, like not yet. He's like the post defeat picture, so he's always oh. like in the painting. He's always like, you know, doing that. I, I'm There's sure a picture can, of and, him. And you know, to be fair, I'm I, sure I, you can find some of those fixes. Who booked fix Goliath last week? Uh, Marcus Mann, I believe. All right, so you have to oh, remember, Marcus. Back, back in those times, if that was a real story, 
people weren't that tall back then. Listen, he's booked. Goliath was probably my height. But, how do you, how but, do you know how tall they were? <laughs> <laughs> like, is that really written down somewhere? Wait, wait, you know, wait, wait. We got two problems here. Twenty-seven two, stone. We got two huh? problems here. One, the Bible doesn't have a proper roster page. Somebody needs to fix that. Two, that's true. Two. I have um, time. We, we have time. We can fix this. Uh, we'll, we'll put in a request. Uh, two. Bible mania. Uh, <laughs> I don't remember what two was because holy shit, I can't get over that. The height. One. The height. The height. height. The height? I said the height. How do you know your height? That's why I said. Then you said okay, there's that. No, there's no case. Like, how do you know it's a Bible sword? You can't just look it up and be all like, oh, there's the height and weight. Is if you all let yeah. me do a Moses pro, I'd be like, let my people go, brother. <laughs> wow. Oh, look. So, here's, so, Goliath. Wait, here's, that, here's Goliath on cage match. 250,000. Oh, one defeat. <laughs> oh, oh, and, and okay. Marcus has booked uh, David versus Goliath matches for so long. He just made it literal. Yeah. No, 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 because there, <laughs> there was I mean, no one named David in that match. Everybody when, else was David. No, like, like it's Keith Lee and Walter. They, they weren't exactly Davids. Mainstream <laughs> Act, give us a give us a status report. Uh, well, I mean, status report is is pretty solid. I mean, all conditions uh, conditions normal. Um, full of engines, full ahead, and um, we've got our eight match super card. Uh, the only thing we really have left to do, as far as like making matches is to select a match to be on the mayhem mania pre-show mm -hmm. because we do have those eight matches that are our, on our undercard which is simply the matches that were not worthy to make it to the super card so one of these matches will make the uh make the pre-show I, I don't feel like going through them i mean we basically i mean this is a foregone conclusion i mean the goliath match is going to win so there's not <laughs> really much to discuss right you know? Wait, I mean, wait. it's got Goliath in it, and if that doesn't do it for you, it's got damn Walter in it. So I mean, this is <laughs> this is a slam dunk. Um, oh no! Oh, there yeah, it is. Well, um, uh, there it is. We'll, we'll, yeah, there it is in all its glory. Amazing. And uh, we'll put it on the um, we'll put it on the Facebook group, and uh, everyone can vote for their favorite. And we'll also let you vote for who will be the host of Mayhem Mania, and we'll let you vote for who will be the m musical guest. For Mayhem Mania. What, what were our selections uh, for host and musical guests, by the way? We're, we're oh, showing the graphics if we're on video. but uh, And we also have the Cluster Battle Rumble. Uh, that yeah, we're not going through all those guys. No, 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 no. Yeah. They're uh, listed in there right up on the website. Nominees for host of Mayhem Mania. Your choices mm -hmm. are Baby Peanut, Blitz the Seattle Seahawk mascot, Chad the Shad, Darcy and Stacy from 90 Day Fiance, mm -hmm. Dario Cueto, Floating dumpster from from round fifty one. <laughs> was it on fire? Was it also on fire? Uh, I I couldn't confirm that. Uh, uh, Jim Carrey or... as uh, Doctor Robotnik, the Muppets, <laughs> me, and Warhorse, and our <laughs> our our musical guest options. Uh, musical guests. The Alexir, uh, Alex, uh, Alter Bridge, my old band, Crap, Fozzie, Limp Biscuit, Nikki Cross. <laughs> Ozzy Osbourne, Poppy. By the way, can we talk about social distancing in SmackDown? What? Because <laughs> when Nikki came out and 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 Cole is saying, "Who approved you coming out here? Don't touch me." <laughs> Nikki Cross, Nikki Cross, the goddamn treasure. Amazing, <laughs> amazing. Uh, when are we going to get the match where they put Asuka and Nikki Cross on the announce table together? Oh, That's geez. what the people need right now. Oh, jeez. That's going to be at WrestleMania. That's your real That's WrestleMania the, moment. Um, I want to I know who's on commentary for Mania. That's a, I, I, hope, I hope Triple H sits in for a match or two. Byron and Cole? I, I, mean, I, mean, I mean, I really enjoyed the Triple H and Michael Cole uh, comedy hour. Uh, that was fantastic. The first week of yeah, of Smackdown. I missed that. What was what was that? I know I've heard things about it, but were they? Yeah, what's going on? Fantastic. Uh, Triple H was on commentary with Cole for for a good portion of the show. At you one... know the, you know those segments where DX would rip on Michael Cole while they're interviewing back him backstage, Hold yeah. up and give him wedgies. Mm -hmm. Two hours of that. Oh my <laughs> god. 
<laughs> I, mean, I mean, which how you someone send me a, a message on Facebook or something. Let me know which episode it was so I can go back on Hulu and watch it. <laughs> it's about it's about three episodes back. It's the first it's the first empty arena one. Yeah, so yeah, it's just, quarantine plus one. So yeah, yeah. yeah. So so uh, find out <laughs> it's it's the Friday before Raw was supposed to be here in Pittsburgh. <laughs> Right. So, so can wait, I take wait. a detour real quick? <laughs> just, <laughs> just a small one. It has to do with Triple H. Okay. They should. It'd be cool if they did something with Michael Cole. Triple H did something with Michael Cole underneath the ring, like they did with uh, Hornswoggle that one time, where they went underneath the ring and there was a whole different world. Do you remember that? And, they had, <laughs> and DX was in there. Yeah, little people court. Exactly. <laughs> that was my all-time favorite skit ever in wrestling because <laughs> I've I've always thought that. It's the craziest thing you find underneath the ring. Did anyone go to the Rise show when I pulled the referee out from underneath the ring? No, was anyone at that show? I don't. Wait, wait, wait. Yeah. I'm trying to I was wrestling, I wrestled Strider, and I, the ref got knocked out, and I was calling for another ref. Yeah. No one would come down, so I went, hold on! And I lift up this curtain, and I grabbed the ref and pulled the ref out. It's like, I have everything under this ring! And I threw him in the ring, you know? <laughs> <laughs> you know? Oh my god, there better be footage of this. I think this is before I, we were filming yeah. with them. Yeah, it was. It was. Uh, yeah, it was early days. It was yeah. in their first like three months. But uh, yeah, it was. It was, gr- it was oh, great. Man. The crowd's howling. You know, I just he was on his stomach. I just dragged him out, picked him up, and threw him in the ring. <laughs> oh yeah, it was great. I'm, I'm but anywho, I'm messaging Marcus now to see if he has that match because <laughs> I need yeah. to find this thing. Yeah. So, um, <laughs> damn. that was before Marcus was involved. I think you may have to message Brandon for that one. Yeah. <laughs> It was so funny, <laughs> but anyway, yes. Yeah, so I just I love that I'm the Triple H, and he's he's got a. I mean, I know he's the boss, but he's just got a. You know, he's just great. He's his timing is perfect. You know, just for like comedic and mm. you know what he's he's just he's, his mind is just amazing. I, I you know? saw but, I saw an interview going around, and I wonder if it was like pre everything or not. It was like Triple H saying about how he's so glad he's not on WrestleMania this year. I'm like, hmm. <laughs> yeah. <laughs> so say us all. So say yeah. us all. <laughs> I, it, of course it, I, I i i wish i want triple h to have more screen time not a lot but like not like in a you know authority figure like thing but you know i i just want more him and cole can we just just i mean please mm-hmm. so yeah anyways um i i think we we got a little bit of time i i, I think we can it was there anything else matt you wanted to touch on for this uh i, I just thought this was interesting like the, the people who were not used a single time in a match in all of Mayhem Mania this year. Um, just a couple names that were interesting. Not used once in any match. Not one time. Roman Reigns, <laughs> Seth Rollins, John Cena, The Revival, Rusev, Triple H, The Undertaker, Kofi Kingston, all of them. Wow. Not once. Do you have to stored. use real people? Most yeah. of the time. Yeah. Okay. Yeah. Well, it, until that last week. Well, I yes. saw a gargoyle on there. So I was like, <laughs> well, yeah. yeah they, they got a little out of hand. I mean, yeah, well, some people gave a lot of money to Patreon. So. Well, next yeah. year you guys should do it like that. Maybe expand it to cartoon characters because just think how crazy that would be. You know, yeah. matches like all around. Maybe they have to be a sports figure, but it could be a cartoon. I don't know about you know, cartoons, be, but there are yeah. other um, versions of this in the works. We can tease uh-huh. Matt. Oh yeah, definitely. There's not something in the works, and we're gonna unleash it here at some point. I think it's going to be really fun. I think it's going to be just different enough from the typical May- Mayhem Mania, uh, but it'll still have that competitive edge to it. I think people are going to like it. Yeah, we, uh, I want that's in. actually funny. I was thinking <laughs> back, um, there's this old radio, this, this old uh, sports talk or, or just talk radio bit in Pittsburgh, and you might be able to find it, but they do like a, uh, a fan, they do like an all-time draft. You could draft anybody all-time from the history of planet earth to be on like whatever your football team or something. And so they go through like, go through like the first pick is like, I don't know, something stupid. It's like, yeah. uh, and the second guy's like Benjamin Franklin. And then oh, like, nice. they get to like number five and someone drafts Jesus. And, <laughs> yeah. and they're like, I tell you, he can make miracles happen out there. And the other guy's like, I can't believe he fell this far. It's really surprising. It's just hilarious. <laughs> <laughs> I, think that, that, I mean, that's where you're going. If you do the, uh, if you open the gates that wide open, you're getting mm-hmm. Jesus in a match against somebody. But and, that's uh, awesome because if you yeah. heard of the game, you ever heard of the board or not the board game, but it's car, a card game. It's called super fight. Have you heard of that? It's like that. You create create scenarios, and you just basically 
debate of whose scenario is better and then you win you get the point you know it's yeah. something like that you know it's um bald. oh yeah that's that's great i love stuff like that because i like debating and i think debating about silly stuff is even funner you know more fun it's just like <laughs> it's just ridiculous uh, um so are we doing matches for the uh the, under, or the pre-show or the undercard or whatever the hell well no they're already made yeah they're already made we'll have a uh, a pull up uh soon on the facebook page okay uh, so. Justin, if you want, if you want a really fun game for debating, mm-hmm. I, I played this card game called Trial by Trolley. Hmm. It's it's a game done by the guys who do Cyanide and Happiness. It's it's amazing. Trial by Trolley. I'll put it in my yeah. Amazon. Link. Yeah, the Trial the the concept is you're a train conductor, and you have two paths to go down. One pa- whatever path you go down. You run over and destroy whatever is on that path. Wait, wait. So it's the it's the trial it's the trolley problem, but as a card game. Yes, the- and and it gets so fucking weird. Like he, oh gosh, I, I love games it like that. So like it's kind of like Cards Against Humanity, right? But like way more fucked up. All right, just oh. just dropped both of uh, those in the chat uh, on the live on Facebook. So if you guys want to look at those, <laughs> so, uh, all right. Holy crap! MySpace is not loading. MySpace is not loading. <laughs> oh no! My <laughs> oh no! <laughs> all of Maybe our, from a lack of use. All of know. our old I'm... pictures. All of our old pictures from the carriage inn in 2007 are gone. <laughs> I'm trying to bring up this because I don't know where it is. Otherwise, like it's probably somewhere in the depths of my hard drive. Mm-hmm. My, I thought um, you were going to say in the depths of your heart, but I'll say that. <laughs> well, it <laughs> is. Too, but, <laughs> that too. <laughs> that too, but you know. All right. Hey, guys, I, I think it's time. Uh, what did you learn from wrestling this week? Oh, my. What is Sorry, I got something. From what, what, whatever form wrestling is this week. Uh, interesting you should put it that way because I learned that if you have a 10 year old child and a vast array of wrestling action figures, um, pro wrestling never really ends. It continues forever in his room. And all you have to do is just stop by every once in a while. And you can see Panama Sunrises off the top of the Elimination Chamber. And also I saw that video. Stuff. That was cool. Yeah, it's spectacular. Mason <laughs> Mania! I really think it's big studies going on, man. That's pretty great. <laughs> the best part is just him, like, just shrieking at the top of his lungs at the time. And he's like, I want this is what Michael Cole sounds like to a ten-year-old child, just <laughs> screaming, <laughs> incoherent screaming. That's what he hears. So, yeah. so is it so? So, like, you need you need to add, you need to make a Mason Mania Twitter account and just mm. like like I saw you did a slow mo um, of one of the things the other day. Mm-hmm. Uh, it just like just drop these action clips, highlight clips <laughs> from this in. The- I- <laughs> I, I, I'm going to keep trying to dig some up and just see how it goes, but man, I don't think that Panama Sunrise clip is ever going to be topped. <laughs> <laughs> I can't believe how long it like, like how long it like the figure like held the grip through like the entire summer song and just like it. Oh my god, it's so beautiful, <laughs> it's so fun. Um, what about you, Mike? What did you learn? I learned that finally one of the great truths in wrestling can be revealed. Uh, the faith breaker is greater than the styles clash. <laughs> oh my god! <laughs> did, he, did he really say that Michelle used it and used your move and got it over when you couldn't? Yes, yes, he if, did. If the Undertaker says it, it has to be true. Wow! I'm sorry. Wow! If, if Mark Galloway says it, because AJ said his name wrong. <laughs> <laughs> He was I mean, confu- he was confusing Drew McIntyre and The Undertaker, which, granted, I can see they teamed up earlier this year mm-hmm. or last year. But yeah, um, the Faith Breaker. Good finally job, get, Alan Jones. Finally, get, finally getting its due. Oh, uh, geez. What about you, Ronnie? Well, you know, I've learned that cameramen don't know the words to Judas, and you would think. <laughs> <laughs> and you would think everybody knows the words of Judas at this point. Uh-huh. Like, and he just, he had no idea. And he was just like, Judas! And then just like, just lip syncing and like, <laughs> trying to play air guitar. I'm like, you were, Sam, Sam and Guevara's was 10 times better. I was like, yeah. oh, come on, man. <laughs> hey, if it makes you feel better, I don't know the words of Judas. Really? Judas is a great song. Yeah. But I'm not saying it it's a Chris Jericho, Mark. I'm just saying it's a good song. 
I just jam to it a lot. Mm-hmm. I'm saying because it's a good song, and I'm a Chris Jericho mark. So, mm-hmm. yeah. Uh, mm-hmm. What about you, Wills? Uh, you know what I've learned? I've learned that wrestlers love TikTok. <laughs> oh, I God. have been watching. I have been watching the tr- uh, our truth TikToks, and they're hysterical. <laughs> He's having way too much fun with it. <laughs> oh yeah, uh, uh, the Rev has really good ones too. Yes, uh, he's been he's been mm-hmm. killing it on there. So I, I don't. You guys have been playing with TikTok as well, right? Yeah, it's the segment I'm doing TikTok with your favorite wrestler, our debate superstar. Yeah, it's hard though because a lot of people, a lot of at least our at least our roster, a lot of the guys don't have it. Uh, TikTok, <laughs> and that's like trying to get them to do it is just. It's mind numbing. It's like, guys, please just just record something. You know, yeah. that's why I did myself. Yeah, come on, then, fun. yeah. So yeah, I keep bugging them. I have we have we now have a um, RWA general discussion. So every like week, I go in there and say, all right, guys, I need this stuff. You know, just do something for the love of God. What else are you doing? Honestly, you know, that is, that is every back, right? that is every wrestling back channel. It's like, guys, we have an idea. We have to do yeah. something. Give me a freaking promo. <laughs> I know, for the love of God, please. <laughs> like, what are you really doing right now? Let's be honest <laughs> about this. I know. I'm eating Cheetos in my underwear. <laughs> <laughs> Film that on TikTok, people? you know? Yeah, it's like, no, no, yeah, just do that, you know? Just, yeah. I mean, I mean, is anybody looking at what, you know, who, who, oh, God, this is a whole discussion. I don't want to start up, but I, I want to. Uh, uh, and, and I want to hold on to these discussions for when there's not as much WrestleMania talk or anything. But just mm-hmm. like, look at Dan Housen, look at Warhorse, look at Jock Sampson, look at, you know, a lot of these guys are, are like, this is the at home off work dealing with this or not dealing with this well. And, and even Zeke Mercer, just give me a promo. It's <laughs> just a <laughs> promo. He ain't going to give you a promo. No, he isn't. About? No, he isn't. And just He's not like, doing anything at all either. Like he starts complaining about something on, on Facebook. And I was like, cut a promo on it. Just please, just please. Yeah. We're, we're trying to help oh, you yeah. out. <laughs> so, uh, <sighs> Justin, what did you learn this week? <laughs> Uh, that the fifth wall is completely gone at this point. It's been wall? knocked down, stepped on, shit on. It's gone. Mm-hmm. It is just completely gone. I don't even know why wrestlers have different names anymore. They should just go by who they are now. You know, it just, I, I don't know. Like wrestling, like way back in the 80s, wrestling was all about like you're an awesome wrestler. You know, like Bruno San Martino and all those guys. And then it became all about characters. You got Kamala, Yokozuna, you got... You know, uh, Papa Shango, who's one of my favorites, you know, characters. Then it went back to the t- awesome wrestlers. And now it's coming back up to characters. I think the fans like that again, you know, characters. But now we're in the point where I think wrestlers, fans want characters again. But now the people are still knocking down the fifth wall. So it's just, it's a confusing time right now in the wrestling mm-hmm. world for me. <laughs> Some do it well. Mm-hmm. A lot don't. Yes. And unfortunately, yes. Yeah. all of them have a public Twitter account. So, yeah, yeah, uh-huh. I'm with you. You know, exactly. And, and, and I think people are not I think people I think wrestlers in that position are not handling the lack of shows. I mean, because I, I've been thinking about this, like like wrestlers are used to I did a show. I have pictures and clips and et cetera, et cetera. And that's your Twitter. Right. Mm-hmm. Yep. What do you do when you don't have that coming in? Right. right. It is yeah. not everybody, you know, but like I, I think that is like a source of their content and their identity. They're mm-hmm. a wrestler. It makes sense. But yeah. what do you do beyond that? You know who's a good one um, to follow? He's a great char- He's a character. And he hits himself and everything. Uh, Sammy Callahan. He's mm-hmm. just incredible. Mm-hmm. You know, watching him and just, he's, I mean, that's who he is. He's just wild. And backstage, he's wild. He's, you know, he's not mean in backstage, but he's wild and crazy and just fun. And then, you know, yeah. goes out there. It's who he is. And, you know, he's like a good wrestler, but he's a character. Mm-hmm. You know what I mean? Mm-hmm. Um, so, yeah, it's just, yeah. But I agree. It's just, there's too much. Like the fifth wall doesn't exist anymore. Yes, you know, thank the, you, you know. thank you, Sammy, for Sammy Callahan for making my helping me make my cameo on an on an Impact Wrestling Twitch feed that I was oh, in, no kidding. that I was that I was in the middle of live switching. Yeah. <laughs> so <laughs> thanks, thanks, Sammy. Uh, right. Yeah, they go they they get crazy down there in Dayton. Um, so uh, uh, Matt, we 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 have to mention this. Uh, you, you said in the chat room, I cut a promo on my microwave this week. Zeke can cut a promo on another human being. <laughs> Which was fantastic, by the way. Oh, I think we got, we don't have your audio right now, sir. Uh-oh. 
he might have some technical issues. He's kind of yeah, well, he's, he's cutting a promo on his, his computer right now is what's happening. Mm-hmm. The, te- the technology is <laughs> fighting back. Yeah, it's, 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 now it's happened. bad. Now his computer is teaming up with the microwave and he can't talk to us. <laughs> I want to know this story, so you better tell it. Let's go. Get that thing fixed. <laughs> nope, nope, nope. Drop the call and come back. Wait, wait. Matt, use sign language. Yeah, there you go. <laughs> <laughs> well, we have him back, but no, no, he, uh, of course, uh, you know, I, I think a response to the uh, 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 Jericho versus the uh, drone promo uh, last week on AEW. Are you back, Matt? I think I am. Okay, okay. Yeah. Real, real quick for Justin, kind of explain it. And anytime I mess with the microphone mute button on my laptop, my laptop's just like, no, screw you, don't touch me. So, yeah. I'm just, you know, <laughs> Yeah, I uh, my fired says by me. Chris Jericho uh, cutting a promo on that drone uh, on Dynamite. Um, I uh, I decided that it was no longer right for me to not stand up to the inanimate objects in my own house that are holding me down. Uh, so yeah, I cut a promo on my microwave and I told it that it was uh, that I was sick of its crap and then it just sits up there looking down on everybody like it thinks it's better. And then I told him that uh, he couldn't basically couldn't hold the stove's jock because the stove can make cookies and the microwave can't. And that was. I'm gonna say something that's gonna give me a lot of backlash. <laughs> <laughs> what colors? What colors your microwave? <laughs> <laughs> oh, okay, it's late in the show. We can get it. Right <laughs> <Wow. laughs> <laughs> oh, uh, I don't, I, I'm sending you the video so you can answer that. Yourself. Stainless steel. Uh, yes. <laughs> Justin Idol, where can people find you online? Oh, we can find me at, uh, well, mainly Instagram. I'm trying to use Instagram a lot more. So let's just search one cool cat on Instagram and you'll find me there. And then you can link up to all my other social medias there as well. Um, also, I am starting a new brand actually here shortly. Um, it's in the works. But I just got my logo made by uh, 37 Goods, which who is Lee Mor- Moriarty's little uh, graphics company. Yes, great uh, stuff. But the, yeah, yes, he does. Uh, but the, the brand is going to be called Cute Face Nerdy Heart. So um, it's going to be basically based around like g- gamers and you know wrestling, everything nerdy, nerdy, all nerdy all the time. Nice. So yeah, it's uh, it's picking up. So I'm slowly getting the uh, social medias together and everything. But so search "cute face nerdy heart" and "one cool cat," and that's where you'll find me. Okay, check it out. And of course, thank you, Wheels, for coming back. And both of you guys, of course, involved with Renegade Wrestling Alliance, RWALive.com, and on all the social medias. Uh, Facebook is the big thing and tiktok <laughs> tiktok as well now <laughs> so yes they, well i'm not on tiktok yet no you're uh, not on tiktok i, I, I know you're you it's proof you're another one he won't do anything i ask him to do a tiktok and he won't <laughs> oh, wheels wait, wait, wait. Do. did you ask me to do tiktok i don't think so not specifically but i asked the whole of rwa <laughs> just don't threaten me with a good oh, okay. time. I'll send you TikToks for no reason. <laughs> hey, I'm down. See that? Do He's it. not even on your roster. He's going to send you TikToks. I know. I'll post this is, it. This is how I get a job in RWA. <laughs> <laughs> hey. Hey, he said he sent it to me, guys. You didn't do dick. Now Ronnie's fighting for the heavyweight title because you didn't send me a TikTok. Oh, you know? man. Like, I can't wait for I can't wait for Ronnie Stars versus J Rock. Come on. <laughs> <laughs> uh, thank you, Ronnie, for coming back. Thanks for having me back. Sorry it's been forever. That's all right. Things happen. Mainstream Matt, of course. Uh, we'll see what he yells at this week. Yes. <laughs> and, of course, Mad Mike 483 on the Twitters. 2B.TV. Search for Lucha Underground. Make your life better. Absolutely. Ooh. Things to do in quarantine. Uh, it's free. It's free, motherfuckers. You had me Watch free. all of Lucha Underground for free. Yes. Yes. Like, Jesus. When is it on? It, it's on it's on demand on 2B.tv. 2B.tv. Oh, TV. okay. I know, I know what 2B is. Okay. Yeah, it's like, yeah. It's, it's, like it's one of those free ad supported, like crackle yeah. kind of things. Yeah. Yeah, like there's ads, but it's great. Mm hmm. Mm-hmm. Just like, like I'm, I'm, on, I'm on the first Aztec Warfare. It's fantastic. Nice. Uh, and also, a lot of stuff happening around here. Uh, we will be going live over on uh, your Jack Off's uh, uh, Facebook page. They are doing a, a music and comedy. Uh, live set that we've been uh, helping engineer here at Sorgatron Media. So again, yeah, Jagoff, uh, Y A Jagoff. Uh, do I need to spell it for the album? J A G O F F. Yay, Jagoff. Uh, you jag, you jag. On, on Facebook and of course the Sorgatron Media. Yeah. 
um, uh, social medias will be streaming it as well. Uh, that will be 7.30 Eastern Time, 7.30 p.m. Eastern Time on Wednesday. We are planning to go uh, uh, live 7 p.m. with an Indie Mayhem show. We're going to do another roundtable. We're going we're gonna to do just a, a how are indie wrestlers dealing with things uh, uh, roundtable once again. Queens in quarantine, sort? What's that? Queens in quarantine. Queens in quarantine? What? I don't know. Instead of like waffles with women. <laughs> what? <laughs> well, I, waffles with women. <laughs> I, well, which is the thing we did. Which is the thing we did. Well, no, no, that's a, that's the thing they did. Yeah, so it's on the know. network. It's, it's Badger, uh, Kitty, yeah, or Cat, and, so uh, and uh, Ziggy. Um, yeah, let's go. <laughs> just bring them back to Queens in quarantine. There you go. Well, we well we have Beastman booked for it, and I need to fill out the roster. Justin, if you're if you're free and want to be part of the conversation, you're welcome. I'm in. When and is course, this? Mm-hmm. When? Uh, this is Thursday at 7 p.m. We'll be going live with it. Sure, just call Send it in message. our houses. In our houses, yeah, edition. Yes. Andy Get the logo, the original logo from back in the day, and change it just a little bit. Just add yeah. a crappy little crayon S at the end. There you go. There you go. <laughs> and of course, uh, Mainstream Matt is doing "Listen to Your Parents." We'll be live 9 p.m. on Thursday. This is our this is our quarantine programming schedule. <laughs> Like we have, we have more, we have more of a stringent schedule of live streaming and Sorgatron Media than we've ever had. Now that we're all stuck well, in our get, houses, because everyone's available. That's right, everybody, oh. has, everybody's available and ready Everyone, to watch. Though. Like, like, what are you doing? Really, you can't sit in front of a computer. Tune for on in. <laughs> yes. Thank you, everybody. Thank you, everybody in the chat room all night long, and uh, we'll see you guys next time. Mayhem out. Just wait. Just wait. Just wait. Just wait. Wait.